Today's lesson objective is to be able to convert between metric and imperial units of length, such as in the examples at the bottom of this page. Before we can do that, we need to know some useful conversions. So, one inch is approximately equal to 2.5 centimetres, and a mile is approximately equal to 1.6 kilometres. Or, if it helps you to remember, five miles is approximately equal to eight kilometres. Don't forget your usual imperial conversions. So a yard is the same as three feet, and one foot is equal to 12 inches. We're going to use all of these in this lesson. So let's start by trying to convert between centimetres and inches. Our first question is to convert nine inches into centimetres. Well, we know that one inch is approximately 2.5 centimetres. An important thing when converting is thinking about whether your answer should be larger or smaller than what you started with. Well, inches are bigger than centimetres, so we're going to need more centimetres to fill the same length. So our answer should end up being larger than 9. So we're going to take the 9, we're going to multiply it by our conversion, the 2.5, to give us an answer of 22.5 centimetres. What about if we want to convert feet and inches into centimetres? So we've got 5 feet 2 inches. First of all, here's our conversion, 1 inch is 2.5 centimetres. We're going to convert the feet and inches into just inches to make this easier now. So 12 inches in one foot, so 5 feet and 2 inches must be the same as 62 inches. Again we're converting into centimetres so we need a bigger number so we're going to multiply by 2.5 giving us an answer of 155 centimetres. Let's go the other way now. We're going to convert 130 centimetres into feet and inches. There's our conversion. Now this time we're going to go into inches. As inches are bigger, we don't need as many, so our answer in inches should be smaller than 130. So we're going to divide by 2.5. That gives us 52 inches. We want to change into feet and inches though, so Let's think how many 12s go into 52. Well, there's four of them and a remainder of four. So we get an answer of four feet, four inches. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. The answers will appear shortly. How about converting between miles and kilometres now? So we want to convert 24 miles into kilometres. Our conversion that we're going to use is one mile is approximately equal to 1.6 kilometres. So again we're going to think about what form our answer should take. So kilometres are shorter than miles, so we're going to need more of them, so our answer should end up being bigger than 24. So. To convert it, we do 24 times 1.6, giving us an answer 38.4 kilometres. Let's try the other way now, 50 kilometres into miles. Here's our conversion factor. This time we're going into miles, which are longer than kilometres, so we need a number smaller than 50. So we're going to do 50 divided by 1.6, giving us an answer of 31.25 miles. Now it's also useful to be able to convert to solve problems such as this one. So here we have that the speed limit on French motorways is 130 kilometers per hour. Keris is traveling at 80 miles per hour. We want to work out if she's speeding or not. Now, doesn't matter whether you change 
the French speed limit into miles or Keras's speed into kilometers per hour. Either way will work. So here's our conversion. I've chosen to change Keras's speed. So we're changing miles per hour into kilometers per hour. We're going to need a bigger number, so we times by 1.6, giving us an answer of 128 kilometers per hour. Now this is lower than 130, so no, she is not speeding. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. The answers will appear at the end.